Yo, yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Devon Terrell in raw form, and welcome to another Help Me Devon raw tutorial. And today, in this Help Me Devon raw tutorial, I'll be showing you guys upward compression, a technique that I feel like a lot of people don't know about uh, and are not using and don't know the powerful uh, things that it could do for your vocals, for your instruments, for your mixes, for everything. Let's get right to it. So first things first is I'm gonna play you a song. Uh, it's from an artist named I'm Gassed Up. Uh, I'm actually featured on this song as well on all streaming platforms. I'm gonna play you the song so you can get an idea of what it sounds like and what I did. So let's just play it for you right quick so you can get an idea of the song. It's called Siri Say by Gassed Up. Listen close. Gassed Up, Gassed Up. Oh my God, I love this song! Siri Say, Gassed Up, Siri Play, Gassed Up, Siri Like, Gassed Up, yeah. Yeah. Siri say, gassed up, Siri play, gassed up, Siri like, gassed up, yeah. Siri say, gassed up, Siri play, gassed up, Siri like, gassed up, yeah. Yeah, everything seemed too fast, everything seemed too gas. Yeah, I'm in the back, quiet got the gas, green back at the raw at the bulls with the pack. Yeah, I got the pack, and they running up in the back. They don't make you dance like Jack. Tell me where you at. That's no cap for facts. So okay, so you get an idea of uh, what the song sounds like. Now the place. By the way, that's available on all streaming platforms. I love this song. Uh, now, what the upward compression uh, is used for is mostly for those vocals. Uh, the reason why I use upward compression for those vocals is because I it's a it's a whisper. It's very quiet. What is upward compression? So just like your regular compressors that you have, think about the concept of them. Basically, you set a threshold and basically you're telling the compressor, hey, anything above this threshold, I want you to smack down. I want you to reduce, attenuate its volume. Well, we have upward compression or uplift compression, which is the complete opposite. Instead, it says anything below this threshold, I want you to turn it up extremely, extremely powerful. Instead of going the other way with compression as far as bringing things down, this compressor brings things up that are below a certain threshold. So if there's little nuances in a vocal that you feel like you want to bring out as opposed to bring down, upward compression is for you. So it's really a good way to control dynamics, to bring out some of the more of the dynamics. Now, granted, you are squashing a little bit more of the dynamics when you use any type of compression, but nonetheless, maybe you want to turn something up more as opposed to bring it down. This is where upward compression comes in. I'm going to show you what I use. Okay. So the main thing we're going to focus on is the vocal, right? And the reason why I used a lot of upward compression for the vocal is because it was a very quiet sound. Think about it. He's literally singing into the mic and whispering. So of course with that, there's going to be a lot of uh, compression needed to really bring it out and to make it sound still up front in the mix. And when you listen to that, it still sounds pretty up front in the mix. Listen close to it again. Everything seems too fast. Everything seems too gas. Yeah, I'm in the bag. Quiet got the gas cream back at the rock at the bulls with the that is a whisper vocal, but yet it still feels like it's right up front, like somebody that's screaming. And that's the power of upward compression, along with, of course, other bells and whistles. But mainly upward compression is what I'm using to really bring that vocal out. So let's all move on over to the upward compressor that I'm using. So the upward compressor that I'm using today that I'm going to show you guys is called the MV2 from Waves. Uh, it's one of my favorite upward compressors. And the reason why is because of its functionality and how simple it is. Any one of you can pretty much get this plug in and jump right into upward compressing, uh, compression. Okay. So right now what I'll do is I'll solo the vocal, right? I'm also going to turn off the verbs on it because I want you to hear it dry for what it is. So I'll play it for you without and then with. So this is without. Listen close. Everything seemed too fast. Everything seemed too gas. Yeah, I'm in the bag. Quiet got the gas green back at the raw at the bulls with the pack. With. Everything seemed too fast. Everything seemed too gas. Yeah, I'm in the bag. Quiet got the gas green back at the raw at the bulls with the pack. Okay, so you can hear that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep bypassing it back and forth so you can hear it as it's on. So without first and then watch me keep bypassing it back and forth. Listen close. Everything seemed too fast. Everything seemed too gas. Yeah, I'm in the bag. Quiet got the gas green back at the raw at the bulls with the pack. Everything seemed too fast. Everything seemed too gas. Yeah, I'm in the bag. Quiet got the gas green back at the raw at the bulls with the pack. Now, when you listen to that, you can hear some of the nuances of that vocal kind of just come right up, but still at the same time, it doesn't feel like it moved too much in volume. You just feel like you hear more of the little things in the vocal. And that's what I used it for, just to get some more of those little things in the vocal. Now, 
when it comes to this NV2 uh, upward comp up compression uh, uh, plugin, the reason why I like it so much is because it has two types of compressors in one. So it has upward compression and then it has a classic style compression uh, uh, algorithm within it as well. So basically we get the functionality of an upper compressor, but we still have the choice of a regular compressor as well. Meaning one side of the compressor attenuates or brings down volume like a regular compressor does. And the other one is the upper compressor. So look closely, just these two knobs. You have low level, and high level. High level will act more as a classic style compressor, which anything above a certain threshold that it has there, it'll bring it down. And low level is anything below a certain threshold, it'll bring up more. And that is extremely powerful. So the more I bring this knob up, as you can see, just seeing this as low level, as I bring that up, you'll notice that more of the vocal will, will be, uh, more of the stuff that's below a certain threshold will be brought out of the vocal. I'll exaggerate so you understand what it sounds like. Listen close. Let me copy the settings first. Listen closely. I'm gonna crank it up. Watch your ears. Everything seemed too fast. Everything seemed too gas. Yeah, I'm in the bag. Quiet got the cast green back at the raw at the post with the pack. Now you hear that you can hear like the everything just kind of just comes right up. It's literally taking everything that's below a set threshold that it has already set, and it's bringing it way, 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 way up. Okay. Now let's go the other way. Let's use the classic compressor. Let's take a listen to what the classic compressor or the high level is doing. I'm gonna bring it down. Listen closely. Everything seemed too fast. Everything seemed too gas. Yeah, I'm in the bag. Quiet got the cast green back at the raw at the post with the pack. Okay, now that works more in the way of a classic compressor. Granted, every time that you do do it, there is some type of makeup game that it sounds like it's creating when you bring it down so that it still kind of tries to match a level. So it's extremely powerful. So basically what you're doing is when you're raising that low level or bringing up some of the stuff, uh, you can use the, the high level to basically combat if you just feel like, okay, a little bit too much, let's bring it back down. Granted, what you're doing is this when you take in the high level and the low level, which is exactly what these knobs are. And the reason why I love this is because if you're a beginner or if you're someone just getting into it, you can literally look at it and feel what this compressor is doing. The low levels bring doing this and the high levels doing this. And basically you're getting a more, uh, a less dynamic vocal or a tighter vocal that probably will probably sit in the mix even better as you can hear with this whole thing. Very, very powerful too. I also mess with the output a little bit just to bring down some of it, just to match and gain stage uh, the vocal, what's coming in. And that's why it's so powerful. You can bring out the little nuances. Now, I know what also you're thinking, hey, can you use this for instruments? Yes, and I actually use this for instruments a lot. Um, it helps me bring out the nuances in pianos or the nuances in violins or those little things. I bring out the low level, those things that are pretty much below, like really, really low sounding nuances in the actual audio stream that I want to bring out more. And I'll show you that right now. So I'm going to move right on over to to um, this piano, sorry. Oh, found it, okay, <laughs> lost myself. Also, just to let you know, this entire song was produced with the uh, Gas Station uh, Kit Volume 1, which is at helpmedevon.info. This kit is super dope. All the 808s and everything, the snares, the hi-hats are all in that kit. I love that kit to death, just letting you know. It's made and produced. I produced this record with that kit. Okay, cool. So now we have the piano, right? And I'm going to give you an example of what the piano sounds like. So this is the piano. One sec. Listen close to the piano. Now play it for you without the um, MV2 or without the upper compression. Now what I'll do is I'll bypass it back and forth while it's playing so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. Listen close. So if you listen close and it's a very close thing, make sure you listen to the headphones or studio monitors, you'll notice that some of the nuances of that piano got brought up, which makes it a little bit more heard in that mix as I play it all together. So I use it on instruments a lot to bring out some of the nuances or the simple or the, or the lower level things in a mix. This thing is extremely, extremely powerful and that's why I love it so much. Um, this is more of like a Travis Scott song, I feel like, as far as how I mix the vocals. Maybe if you guys want this template, I'll also uh, ask me in the description 
production. We'll, we'll talk about it. We'll figure it out. But nonetheless, uh, also, if you want to produce a record like this, you know you can get the Gas Station Volume 1 kit, uh, sound kit on helpmedevon.info. Really, really sick, sick kit. Uh, this is by Gassed Up called Siri Say. And with that said, I hope that this was a very helpful tutorial on upward compression. This is not the only upward compressor out there on the market. There are tons of them, but this is just one that I like a lot from ways that is extremely simplistic um, in style that you can just jump right in and get right to doing upward compression. So I hope that was really helpful. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe. Make sure you follow us at helpmedevon.info on, um, on our our on our website. Uh, make sure you follow me at Help Me Devon on Instagram. Uh, make sure you hit me with your comments, likes, concerns uh, in the comments. You can email me at helpmedevon at gmail.com. And until next time, you guys. <laughs>